I know the media likes to focus on uh, on a handful of Republicans who have uh, chosen a different course, but we've really been overwhelmed yeah. uh, to see leaders and rank and file Republicans and many independents. And frankly, at my rallies here in Iowa today, many Democrats who are responding to Donald Trump's message that we can make America great again. So that's Governor Pence now saying the Republican divide is not as deep or wide as some believe. But you still have House Speaker Paul Ryan putting distance from himself and Donald Trump. What about all this today? Indiana Congressman Luke Messers, a member of the House Republican leadership. Sir, good morning to you, and thanks for coming yeah. back here uh, on America's Newsroom. What, what, what do, Glad to be on, Bill. What do people need to understand on the outside about the, perhaps the complication as it appears among this relationship, how do you see it? Well, you mean the relationship of Paul Ryan and, yeah, and, Paul and Ryan uh, Donald Trump? And others in, uh, in, the, in House. the House. Yeah, what do you think? Well, let's, first, I think Paul Ryan's comments have been misconstrued. What Paul told our conference was this he can't defend Donald Trump's uh, recent comments in that tape. I, I can't defend them either. And that Paul's going to focus on his job, which is making sure we have a Republican House majority after this election. Um, I think Paul very clearly understands the problems of a Hillary Clinton presidency. And she's going to appoint three Supreme Court justices that are likely to undercut Second Amendment rights and religious liberty. She's going to have four more years of a feckless foreign policy that won't call our enemy by name and build uh, the structures we need to defeat radical Islam. It's going to be four more years of a government first uh, economic policy that's, that's frozen paychecks across the country and it's gutting the middle class. And so this is a non-traditional situation. I mean, listen, I understand that traditionally we've all been able to grab the banner of our nominee and full-throated scream and cheer uh, like at a, a college football game. That's not where we are. But the stakes are very high, and frankly, I think the vast majority of Republicans across the country are behind our nominee. Yeah, Paul Ryan was asked about this. His um, office put out this statement. Reads in one line, Paul Ryan's focusing the next month on defeating Democrats, and all Republicans running for office should probably do the same, end quote. Y you, you just nailed it there. Th this is very, um, shall we say, unconventional. So, yeah. so how do voters, how do independents in the middle, how do long-standing Republicans, how do they interpret this now? I think when you look at those stakes, we need to stop the infighting and focus on the problems and challenges we have with the left that will take our country in a very different direction. And I can tell you this, if you don't want to see those Supreme Court justices appointed by Hillary Clinton, if you don't want to see the economy continue in a direction of growing government, if you don't want to see more feckless foreign policy, we need to vote for Republicans up and down the ticket. We need to elect your local member of Congress who's a Republican, elect your Senate, uh, your senator that, that's the Republican on the ballot, and, and, and elect the Republican yeah, and nominee. You have 27 days to make that point. Is that enough time? Well, it better be enough time. I mean, I mean, we have to come together. I will say this again: the infighting isn't helping anybody. And. and and I, I think part of what we've all got to understand is this is a, a non-traditional situation. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm a father of a 12-year-old and, and a 13-year-old and a 9-year-old. I can't defend those kind of comments. I never thought I'd see a day where a Republican nominee would be recorded anywhere making those kind of comments. But I also understand the broader stakes that we have. I mean, and Hillary Clinton and her team will send our country in a very different direction. And by the way, I think that's where the American people are. I mean, I, I think they get it. They have the common sense to process this as well. And, you know, you, uh, and you, we've you got said, 28 days to yeah, make it work. Uh, last point I have here, then I've got to run. Uh, you mentioned infighting a couple times now. If that is the case, what is your message to Donald Trump? Or, or conversely, what is your message to House leadership and Paul Ryan? Well, listen, both Paul Ryan and Donald Trump are, are uh, folks that are adults and have built a remarkable career. So I don't know that they need any advice from me. I just think if we all stay focused on Hillary Clinton and if we all stay focused on the direction that the left would like to take this country and present our positive view of how it would, would be different with a stronger national policy, with a, okay. a stronger economy, then we'll all be better off. Luke Messer, thanks for coming on. Republican from Evansville, thanks. Indiana. Thank you, sir. Thanks.